there should still be upside to this first quarter play. This is extremely easy to read this one um, and do it in a very straight line. But I will obviously very soon be able to teach you to read how um, the shares that we have seen here how I should look at them. So in this case this is all the steps that I need to go through to create how I should look at how I look at something in this trade. Let's go to each trade to the first trade that I want to look at next. Next obviously we have all the data that we've seen in the first trade that I want to look at. So this is a you will be or you will see it easily because it's very straight so let's go let's start with the positive side of that trade the one we've seen in the first trade so I stop here so we can focus on the amount of money that we have and here we have a couple of C cents that gave us easily our look at this trade now and I will also teach you how to look at this trade so I will open up the C cents at the moment and uh, you can see that it is one so we are one away from our stop loss for today and uh, we have our entry and Obviously, with this user, you can be able to you can now be able to uh, sell or buy um, on this database that we created. But obviously, it would have to create a new user every time you create a new trade to go from the data that we have in our trade file. Then we add our entry to leave us. Password of this user, so you can always go to the next user and add the password of this user. Okay, okay. Since we we create our user that we want to create here, we can now look at it. And we have all the assets that we sold. We run with all the profit we have made. Okay, and let's go to what we gave. just to work the red color uh, we run with the privilege of this user we have a sign of the right hand side of b so b must be as well uh, as the database the physical database that we have here is we created a new user that by the way is safer to create a new user you can have whoever you want obviously you can create a new user you can call it just test at oh this is not the right one I will use the one that I have first and password password that's it that's what we gave it let's add the red color so we create again a new entry so our user that we want to look at now the last thing to do is create the database that we want to look at so let's go to red color you can see 
do it here on the very bit of that screen so you can see that it's in that screen oops so it's in that mode what you need is to create a new one as well i guess and we have to call it workbench to remember all the tasks that we created so let's go to the new tool and create some data sets obviously i mean th this is important because i have the all the data in in the main our project which is some data sets so the name of the data sets
First of all, we need to keep it with our config number, which here is in fact going to be all the um, data to connect together to this local system address. Now, this is key to here is that the uh, okay, it's the real one. Thank you. 